Hi everyone, this is going to be a collective tarot message for uh, all twin flame connections here. So we're going to focus on, you know, this, um, your twin flame separation stage, okay, and see what's really going um, on here and, you know, what to do if it happens or when it happens. Um, so let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin here. So for those of you that are going through a separation stage or you sense that it might be coming up, or you're coming out of it let's see what the cards are predicting for you here oh the other thing is it is a general reading but i'm sure you already know that so just please be mindful of that also if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself whether a twin flame reading or um, any other reading for that matter love career um, finance etc please feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address below the video Wow. I'm sure you all know that twin flames, um, you know, they can be, well, they are thought to be of the most intense uh, relationships that you have in our lives. But I'm also sure that, you know, most of you are aware that they're not always meant to last here. So sometimes a twin flame separation can end up becoming permanent. But um, oftentimes a twin flame can come back to you. But it may be years until that happens here. So, you know, a twin flame is often referred to as a mirror soul, and this is what um, the lover's card here is reflecting. It's, you know, one soul is being split between two different bodies here, and it's these two souls that share this very intense and this very strong and powerful connection with one another, but they also act as a catalyst for growth in each other's lives here. And... It feels like what's going on here is there's this, during the separation phase, there's this mirroring nature, okay? And right now, you guys are being forced to really identify and really grapple with your own individual fears, anxieties, and insecurities here, okay? And it's like this twin flame, like what's going on right now during no contact, no communication, this separation is really, um, it's shedding a light on the areas that you need to look into and you need to grow okay so any insecurities that you have any negative energies influences here any issues um, fears or anxieties they need to be looked at um, the truth is not everyone is ready for this kind of um, type of very deep vulnerability and intimacy okay because these relationships or the nature of these relationships can be so profound and so deep and so full on not everyone is ready for that and this is where your twin flame might run because they're not able to cope with the intensity here um, it feels like the honeymoon phase of this relationship has ended and you guys are stepping into the attachment um, stage Okay, this is where the honeymoon phase ends and this is where essentially insecurities, um, anxieties or even any attachment fears or attachment styles are really brought out and being highlighted here and they really begin to appear. It also feels like there's a lot of... One partner is like pushing, the other one is pulling away. So there's this push-pull that I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing that it's very likely your twin flame here is going to find their way back to you. But as I've said earlier, for some, it might even take years. For some, it might not take that long. And for some, it's a permanent separation. But for others, it feels like your twin flame could be finding their way back to you. It could be, for others, it's happening a lot sooner. It could be a matter of days, weeks, or even months here. For others, it could be years. It all depends, and I feel like what that depends on is the 
it's the you know the level of inner work and inner healing each twin flame has to do on themselves so that when they do re you know when the two of you do reunite it's important that you're both you're both ready okay you're both ready for the intensity of this connection here i feel like there's the runner and some of you are at you know at a runner chaser phase of the separation so you guys separate only to come back together and you know separate again so that's it's twin flame relationships are a lot deeper than any other connections you or this person has had before and this is why it, the other person isn't ready for this relationship yet. Or maybe b both might not be ready. But this is why, you know, it's called the runner chaser stage. Because it might just not be the right time. It can be very challenging to love someone or to be in a relationship or a commitment with someone who doesn't have healthy boundaries. I'm also seeing that more growth is needed right now okay more more growth or personal development here is needed in this relationship here and maybe this is what the separation is all about it, it's it's it will help facilitate growth here it will help you know in a healthy twin flame relationship two souls grow together but in the case of a separation there's a lack of growth and it's not happening. This is why the separation comes about here. So it feels like the both of you during this no separation period or the reason why this period has come about is because there's a growth that needs to happen here. Okay, so if you feel like you're stagnant or if you perhaps feel like the relationship has been stagnant for some times here, you know, it may not be the healthiest relationship. This is why... You guys needed to separate so you can work on your work on yourselves here okay for some i feel like there's a lack of self-love okay it, it could also be like codependency um it could be jealousy it could be someone else as well okay there may be your twin flame may be attached to someone else they may be already taken or in a relationship with someone else or that may be you um I spoke about perhaps a lack of self-love here. There could also be, you know, your twin flame isn't ready. Okay, maybe there's someone who has been dishonest and disloyal with you. Um, I do get a sense of a third party or someone else here. Um, but it also feels like there's a lack of honesty here. And not that's not to say your twin flame isn't being honest with you. And maybe for some of you that's the case. But they may not be honest with themselves. Like they like you and they feel the connection and they perhaps might even love you and it, it just feels so intense but they won't admit to themselves that they're not they're not ready they're not ready for you know uh, they're not ready to settle down they're not ready for commitment there's just they're not ready for a lot of the growth that lies or that comes with the twin flame connection here and therefore you know they'll engage in behavior that is destructive or self-sabotaging here so i feel like this is it's important for you to know that your twin flame separation is very important to facilitate growth, okay? Because I do feel like there's a lack of emotional or even spiritual maturity here. So your twin flame may not be growing or maturing like you are. They may be out of alignment here with you spiritually or emotionally. And this is why that separation has come about here. A twin flame relationship can only really last if growth is happening, okay? Or if there's mutual growth happening here. Um, something about a timing aspect. I feel like for some of you, your twin flame is going to come back to you when they've learned their lesson, when they've done, you know, the growth here. It just feels like maybe they haven't learned the lesson that they were supposed to this time around. Um, or, or just feels like maybe they haven't done enough growing here, you know, enough inner work here. So they, you have to factor into this, the timing aspect and the fact that, you know, A, yes, maybe have, they haven't learned their lesson. B, maybe they still have a lot of growing to do. C, maybe they're misalign misaligned with you here. You know, you're growing, they're stagnated here. There's this misalignment here. Um, it's it feels like you really right now need to focus not so much on the separation but rather on the um, rather on yourself here focus on your growth and your self-love 
this growth can be fast tracked, okay? And twin flames often rekindle because they're ready to relation, they're ready to approach the relationship in a new, healthier, and a stronger way. And if your person isn't ready to, you know, come back, and if your person doesn't come back, it means that they're not ready here to approach the relationship, not just yet. Um, the universe knows what it's doing, okay? The universe. You know, will orchestrate a reconnection or reconciliation or rekindling with your twin flame if that's what's meant to happen. So, you know, if you guys get off track and if you're truly meant to be, the universe will bring them back into your life. It will never steer you wrong. So they'll find a way, they'll find their way back to you together. Uh, your twin flame will find their way back to you and the universe will find a way for you to be together. But right now, just focus on learning to be enough, learning to be okay with yourself, learning to spend time with yourself, taking yourself out on dates, learning to really sit with your emotions and what's going on with you. Now's the time about finding your happiness, okay? Finding your alignment, finding, you know, that self-love. We've got the cloaked figures that have turned their back um, to us. So even though it feels like your twin flame, he has abandoned you, the separation is actually really good, not only to nourish this relationship, but to nourish the relationship that you have with yourselves here. Um, all right, guys, so these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.